All right, here at No Reserve, we have our all original 1985 Mercedes 190E. Uh, it's beautiful, just a real crystal clear, bright white uh, with the gray interior, really my favorite color combination. I think it's hands down the best. Uh, it was originally purchased brand new here in Washington State at Film Smart Mercedes in, Merce in Seattle. And then it was taken out to Friday Harbor by its original owner who owned it all the way up till 2017. And then its second owner took over ownership for a couple years, but it also stayed in Friday Harbor, Seattle area. Uh, the original owner kept nice maintenance records with it. They go from 1993 to about uh, when they checked off on the ownership, I believe, in 2017. Um, but just nothing huge, but just a lot of nice, great maintenance. Um, everything works on this car. It's got a full synthetic oil change just done. You know how the tire is balanced. Um, so we'll go ahead and take you around the front here. You can see this thing's, you know, it's all original painting for except for the driver's fender at some point um, has been repainted. And you'll see a little, you see a little bit of a tape line on top there. But it matches perfect. And if that wasn't there, I would uh, suspect this thing is, uh, you know, all original paint. But I've been around everywhere else. No spraying, the door jams, the gas door, the trunk line. Uh, none of that stuff has any paint uh, blown into it. So... Uh, you can see that this thing's clearly been garaged by, you know, I'll take you around the rubbers, but also how crystal clear all the lights are. You know, all the lights are original, even all the glass is original with the Mercedes logo on this car, including the front windshield. But you'll see how beautiful and smooth and shiny the lights still are. I mean, you, you know, any guys that are familiar with almost anything from the 80s and, you know, early 90s, these just get that kind of hazy look. Uh, none of the uh, little grills are punched out. It gets real common in this area. People will be get sloppy and damage that area. Hood emblem still there. You know, you got a couple tiny little chips, little crack in the paint. Um, a couple touched up areas. You got a touch up there, a little touch up, and a little touch up. Bumper's head is nice and straight. It is not loose, nothing, but it had a little contact with something that cracked it right there. It's got a little chip right here. You know, a little scuff, a little chip in the paint there. Um, and you got a little scuff down here. And then this is pretty common, but these things just pop off. Um, that's the uh, cover for the tow hitch, but it obviously got busted. Probably, you know, it's got too close to a curb. And uh, then the hinge wouldn't hinge. But uh, so you took, you know, you got your typical stone chips, and you're gonna. You're gonna get this stuff throughout the car on the bottom side. You know, it's amazing this thing is uh, 35 years old. Uh, I just can't believe how time has gone on. You know, you have your chipping down here. You got your door edge entry chips. A couple of those tiny chips have been touched up. You know, sunroof opens up good. I'll take you over here. The, this is the bigger chip. And these, you can get these fixed by glass shop. You know, um, both, both uh, mirrors are faded. But you look at the... The rubbers are just amazing condition. You know, the, the front windshield's tough to get in the video, the Mercedes logo, but it is, uh, does have it. You know, you get a little fading in the door handles, you know, but they all match. I mean, inside here is just super clean. Um, the stereo sounds great, but the antenna has issues going up and down. It'll go about halfway, and the little plastic around here is chipped out. You know, a couple little door edge, kind of entry, kind of your typical entry stuff. All the tires are in good condition. Wheels are really nice. You know, a couple little curb marks on the drive one, on the driver one here. Uh, but the but the the uh, if that drove you nuts, the spare matches, so you could always swap it out, and it's like mint. You know, 190, a little chipping around here, but again, no cracks, no fading in the lights. Rear bumper looks really nice. Behind the license plate looks killer. You know, still got the Mercedes hood emblem on the front too. It's got the 2.3 emblem. It's got a little chip in the chrome right there. You know, got a got an old school 80s uh, Apple computer decal and you an old older U Dub decal in there. So probably was part of the original owner. You got a little scratch on the top there. And then you go over here to the passenger side and uh, inside it's beautiful. This is what I was talking about. You'd get this is any paint work inside the door jams. You'd have tape lines. You'd have overspray in there I mean then it just would be a near impossible to do um, but you do have some chipping along here some weird little stone chips um, and the paint's a little faded underneath the gas door you know you can feel it's like real smooth and shiny here and that's a little bit a little bit faded out there um, but again I'll uh, update the ad if I find any other evidence of paint work but I've really been over this thing and um, really haven't seen any of that you know, a couple little chips here. You can see the wheels in really nice condition. Uh, you know, lug nuts are a little faded, but you can get those brand new. But you see inside this thing, it's just 
hopefully you can see all the the, the photos and I mean it is just clean underneath the hood is just as clean you know expect your little chips like that you know a couple of areas that have been touched up you know you get your fingernail scratches in there from 35 years you know it's got a little over 119,000 original miles um, but it does have kind of it's a uh, these weird little let's see if I can get nice and close these are a little like kind of like just you know, chips in the paint or something. Um, I'm not sure if it kicked more rocks up on this side or if it was just a defect in the paint, but uh, those are there. So I'll start on the, the passenger side rear, um, and then we'll go around to the driver's side, and then we'll go in the trunk and show you all the good stuff. I mean, original window sticker, everything on this. We look inside how beautiful this is. I mean, every door panel is just perfect. All the switches are work. All the, the latches are nice and tight. You look in here. I mean, you look. A lot of times these are just loose and hanging. I mean, they're nice and tight. No marks on the seats. I mean, rear seat looks like it's never even been sat in. The rear package tray is in good shape. A lot of times, you know, the speaker grill will have a chip out of it. It's got the original emergency first aid kit. I mean, headliners is beautiful, no sagging, no marks. I mean, rear seat is just, you know, this is the, it's towards the end of the day, so it's kind of giving a little bit of a yellow haze, but um, interior is a really nice gray, dove gray kind of color, and then it's just a, the paint's just a crystal clear white that hopefully you can see in the pictures. Um, all the doors shut nice, you know, really nice gaps. Again, just perfect door panels. I mean, there's just not a mark on these things. Really no entry wear. Original floor mats all the way around. Uh, I got pictures of underneath the floor mats too. Carpets are clean, but you know, underneath there's a little bit of darkening towards the edge. But uh, again, just all the wood trim is beautiful. Original Becker stereo. No cracks on the dash. Again, this uh, passenger front seat is perfect. The plastics are in good shape. There's a little chip out of here, this seat belt trim piece, but the piece is in the glove box. I mean, the person, uh, the owner kept it. And uh, so if you need to get after it and you want to try to glue it, but uh, you really don't even notice. But I will leave it in there for you. So I'll go around to the driver's front um, and we'll do the trunk and then we'll pop the hood and then uh, we're going to go ahead and do a driving video. And... Uh, Sorry about that, I hit the uh, power button with uh, my finger trying to get down in here, but you see the original floor mats. Um, but what I was saying is we're gonna do um, usually an underside video and driving video and a cold start, so um, hope you guys can stick around for all that. Beautiful steering wheel, real no wear on it. Um, little stress crack in the trim piece here, but no cracks on the dash. Nice clean gauges, got 119,377. You know, all the decals are nice and clear. Original factory decals with your VIN plate. Uh, this is the only mark on the uh, driver's uh, seat is this little slit right here. And then this little pullback of the material. But again, the driver's door panels, just like the rest of them, just mint. I mean, there's no fading, no wear. And again, that kind of shows the garage condition of it with the rubbers and the condition of the interior and door panels. Entry marks are very minor. You know, headliner looks good. You know, sunroof opens and closes real nice. I'll do that part in the driving video along with all the um, the windows and everything. Okay, see this really clean. I mean, all the paint is shiny, even you know, underneath the hood it's even shiny in the wheel wells and stuff. Again, this is nice and tight. No marks and seat belts are pulled tight to the seat. This is probably one of the nicest um, 85 Mercedes of any of this year's. I mean, any 80s Mercedes uh, besides like a super low mile SL. I mean, this thing is super clean. Um, so inside the trunk, you'll see underneath the trunk lid is you know just what you expect, just really nice and clean. Um, not sure if you can see it here, but there's just no tape line edges. You know, nothing like that decal all the rubbers are nice you know covers for the tail lights are in good condition um, none of these plastic cargo sides are cracked but you know it's got all its original brochures all three of them I mean it just comes with everything this thing had new 
has uh, all the manuals. It even still has the little cruise control guy that hangs on there. You know, all the little bits of the stereo with your code. You know, all the ownerships, the maintenance manuals, the plastic sleeve. It's got the toolkit, the Mercedes toolkit, full service manual. This is like a dealership style service manual. Um, here's the, the sweetest part to me is the Protecto plate. It has a VIN number and the original owner on there. Uh, the uh, window sticker shows all the options. You know, Phil Smart Mercedes. Now this bad boy was almost 26 grand, retail brand new. And these are a bunch of the service records that go back and kind of just show the service they had, always getting the oil changes. Um, pretty regular um, service records all the way from 93 to uh, when the original owner um, part of ways within about 2017. And then there's a couple of uh, couple of recent um, receipts in there from the new owner too. So it's cool they kept those. Um, the one of the only things that doesn't work is the automatic lock system. You can lock every door, you can lock the trunk, but usually you can unlock it here in the all unlock or lock. Uh, no longer does that, and I think it's just the switch underneath the trunk there. But it is nice to see the little finger popper is uh, still out, so I'll. Uh, just so I don't do any damage, so it is a two-handed operation. People will pull on those and bust it off. But you'll see how clean, I mean, it kind of is nuts how clean this thing is. You look at these parts here, especially anybody from the salt belt, these items are just usually long, just really oxidized. I mean, how shiny they are. You look at your paint throughout the engine bay, is shiny, you look at the top. All your decals are here present, you know, never been pressure washed and blown off. I mean, this is just its nice, honest, natural state. You know, none of the, you know, I don't see really any tape on here, but so I don't know if the full fender was painted or if it was just down there. It's like, I wish I know the full history, but um, regardless, it's just a killer one. And all the decals, you can see down here. So, all right, this is going at no reserve and uh, We'll go ahead and get ready to uh, do the driving video, so hopefully you guys can stick around with it. And, uh, you know, as I pull out here, you can kind of see the it just has that nice crystal white color. So if you guys need any additional photos or videos, just let me know.